well, Jenny, I promised you a video about how we do our songwriting, or our process, what our process is, and so here it goes. I've just walked into the studio. I usually start the process by myself, just me here at the top of the attic, and I walk over here. You've been here before. I have to take my glasses off because I can't see with them. I can't see without them either. I use a program called Pro Tools. You can see it's a professional recording program. There's a picture of Kathleen behind there. I'll show you that later. Anyway, I come over to the drum machine to start with. And I pick. Right now it's set on hard rock. I don't think I want hard rock. We'll go until we get to rock. 8 feel, 16 feel shuffle, 6 8 feel ballad, country, funk 3. Let's see what funk 3 is. That's pretty cool. We've never used that one, so let's slow it down a little bit though. So press tempo. Thirteen beats per minute. I always document that so I know later on. Like I said, I don't know if put some more drums on. 113. Song three. Okay. Now I record that for a good five minutes or so. So plenty of drums. We'll stop it now. I put a stop here. Go. Now, run back, play that. That's what we just recorded. I usually, it's very sometimes I will do a different way, you know, different order or whatever, or I'll start with the bass line that I hear. But this, this is how I usually do it. I'll start with the beat first so that I have a good solid rhythm. We not always, we don't always use these drums. He's not a shaking hand. We don't always use these drums, but we'll sometimes use them as a clip trap, or we'll use them. It just, just depends on how we feel. I'm going to get my bass, and then I'll record a little bass line for it. Be right back. Okay, hey, I'm back. I got the bass. This is my 1972 vintage Fender Jazz bass. But I did the paint job on it. Can you see that? Let me get the light on it a little bit better. I, did the, I call it Psychedelic Vomit. Anyway, I get a lot of comments about it. I have a nice space that I use for like wedding gigs or church gigs, things where it has to be, or my mother might be there. But this is the one I like. It's fretless. And it sounds good. Now I'm going to take the drum part that we've done, you see it right there, and I'm going to put a bass part underneath it. Okay, now let's go lay a little bass track down. I'll let it run for like a measure or two so I get the count. Okay, that's the bass line. I put down the drums in the bass line, and I titled it. I, I start a lot with titles, just what I feel like it sounds like. Or what, we're going to James movie, so this song will probably end up be called James movie and probably about you. But uh, we're gonna be working on a different song than one we've already done from now on. So I just wanted to show you the first step of the process and how I put the rhythm track down. So I'll be right back. Okay, joke. Now it's the time that our other partner, Mike Pearson, will come in. He'll sit down. Here's, here's Mike. The OK sign. There we go. Piece of cake. 
Now, once Mike laid some stuff down, Jana will come in and sing, so you're going to meet Jana next. I'm going to switch to the song that we're going to be working on, which is called Big Old Tree. This is Jana. Hi, Dan. <laughs> She's really not that pretty. We have a special effect that we filter that we put on her. But I am this ugly. This is the microphone that we use. It's an AKG made in Austria. Costs lots and lots of money. We lay out on the floor lyrics to all the songs. We can go through each song first and fix the lyrics. And now I'm going to record Jan as she sings. I'll be right back. Next one's going to be what? You want to try Wives' Tree? Did we decide if it's going to be I'm the Wives' Tree or you're the Wives' Tree? I think we decided I'm, unfortunately. <laughs> but everything has to say in. Well, that's why we make the big bucks. So that's at the back page. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. There it is. It's a three-pager. Three what we call in the industry a three-pager. Here's Jana rewriting the lyrics. All part of our process. She writes faster than I do. That's pretty good. She's changing the person from you to I. Then I'm, that goes back to you. I'm the wisest tree in the park. The park. Again. That's, no, I'm the wisest tree in the park. Oh, that's that's why I sorry. don't leave them after dark. I'm the wisest tree in this place. No one's ever even seen my face. No one's ever. Uh, no one has ever seen my face. Yeah. No one's. I'm the wisest tree in this park. And my bite is much worse than my bite. Mr. Candy Corn, you're in my way. Don't want to play your reindeer games. Mr. Candy Corn, you're in my way. Don't want to play your reindeer games. Good job, Jana. Thank you. Say goodbye to Jane. Thank you. We'll mix this down. And then make the TD out of that. Basically, the rough structure here will all be mixed down. And uh, that's a long, involved, boring process that you really don't want to hear about. But once we do that, we burn the CD on the computer. And I'll date it. And then go listen to it in somebody's car or somewhere else like that to start to get references to it. And it takes a long time to finally get the final product after listening to it in different places like that. We'll add keyboards to this is a Hammond organ type sounding thing, and it's a piano. And that, Jane, is our process how we make music. I hope I didn't leave anything out. If you have any questions, you can email me. And it's probably going up on YouTube so the whole world can see it. I'll let you know. Thanks a lot. Love you. And hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.